Hi, Patrick and Sarah. It's really great to see you on Zoom. Uh, we're recording this short video for our friends and family at Kingsgate, just trying to explore what does it look like to uh, walk with Jesus or trust Jesus in a season of uncertainty. And so maybe, Patrick, you could start by just telling us really the journey you've been on over the last few months. Yeah, sure, Adam. So um, <clears throat> I work for a bank. I've worked for the same organisation since 2007. Um, we're going through a reorganisation and last September we were told that the office I work in is closing. Um, so I had a, a number of choices. I could have gone to work in Newcastle, I could have gone to work in Glasgow, um, or I could have taken redundancy. Um, and although Glasgow and Newcastle are lovely places, um, didn't really want to do that. So um, at that point I was in a position where uh, redundancy was the option that was, was only open to me. Um, so uh, yeah, I was in a position where I was going to lose my job. Um, got the letter to say, thanks for all your service, Patrick. And uh, yeah, that, that sort of, uh, that was last September um, with the office wow. closing. And, and Sarah, being Patrick's wife, um, I'm guessing that that letter was not the most enjoyable letter to read. I'm guessing it kind of set off a bit of a chain reaction in you. And maybe you can just tell us what's it been like over these last few months as you and Patrick together have kind of processed this. Uh, and I guess most importantly, how have you and Patrick looked to trust Jesus in the midst of all of this uncertainty? Yeah, I mean, I'd probably say my initial reaction was, oh no, not now, something else, because we've had quite a lot of ups and downs in the last few years. So it was almost, um, oh, you know, why, why now and why something else to kind of deal with? Um, but then you can kind of flip that round and kind of go, well, God's got us through a lot of other stuff. Um, so therefore almost redundancy sort of came as, further down the list <laughs> um, than some of the other stuff that we've been through. So um, because God was faithful in a lot of the other stuff, um, we knew that we could trust him. Um, and Patrick was actually made redundant quite a few years ago and managed to find another job before he left the, the previous firm. So we know that God's come through from us before, for us before. So, yeah, that, that always helps you know knowing that, that God's been there so you, you kind of flip it didn't take me long but that initial reaction was oh gosh what else now kind of thing <laughs> yeah. um but then when you think through a lot of stuff you've been through before you can see God's brought you through that's why we're here now um why we're talking to you now so yeah it doesn't take long really mm. um especially having been through that exact same scenario before I guess yeah um, mm. Patrick, anything you'd like to add to that? How, how did you look to walk through this season uh, trusting Jesus? Yeah, I mean, as Sarah said, uh, I, I was in a position back in 2007 where I was made redundant from my previous employer. Uh, I left there on the Friday and started working for where I work now on, on the Monday. So God, God not only provided, but he provided more than I'd had previously. So... Um, it was really good to be able to draw on that experience uh, and as Sarah said there have been other things over the last few years where we've really had to rely on God um, and, and he has come through um, more than we could have ever imagined um, each time so yeah it was really good to be able to pull on those those things. Great. Um, Sarah uh, you are no longer as a family in the place where Patrick is holding a redundancy letter. Do you want to kind of fill us in on the last few weeks? Yeah, sure. So um, in a way, COVID has been helpful um, in this situation um, because it's meant that um, they've had to discuss everyone's working from home and it seems to be quite successful. Um, so in a way, the company couldn't really argue that the office shutting meant that they should make everyone redundant because everyone was working from home. So other discussions started, didn't they? Mm. Um, and it's ended up with Patrick's team and, and a few others being offered redundancy still if they want to take it or the option to work from home. Um, so we were kind of 
blown away really weren't we Absolutely. Um, especially after having sort of to plan for that since last September um, it's been a, lo- a kind of long while um, but yeah so um, he's taken that option so basically he's still got a job um, and wow no. <laughs> I mean, that's just fantastic news, isn't it? It is, yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and again, God, God has provided more than we could have ever imagined. It would have been great to be able to leave the organisation I work for uh, and find another job. Um, I'm in a fortunate position where my redundancy would have tied it as over for a, a period of time. Um, but we don't need to worry about that because God has, has given us the opportunity to, to continue working and, and, and not have the, 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 the angst and worry of trying to find another role. So um, that's really great. And I get to get a really posh shed in the garden. No, don't say that. I'm envious. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's just wonderful. And again, just another example of God's faithfulness to his people. And so, Thank you for sharing that. Just before we go, if there was one thing that you could encourage somebody else who right now is going through a season of uncertainty where, you know, they really can't see the answers uh, at this moment in time, what would you want to say to them? I I would say um, hang in there. Uh, and it sounds a real cliche and and when I say that I've got that picture your parents used to have in their bathroom with the, the kitten hanging <laughs> hanging yes. on a rope that says hang in there but, but actually God has provided for us uh, and it's really great that we've got the really great it's really good that we've got the experience to pull on that he, he's done that for us um, yeah. the first time I was made redundant again it, it was it was an uncertain time but but he came through for us which was, which was fantastic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I would just say every time you get scared, because it's not like you make that decision and you're going to trust God and then you don't ever feel fearful again. Um, But every time you get scared, just tell him Um, he knows what you're going through anyway. Um, but keep giving it to God because sometimes I think we kind of do it in the initial instance and then think we can carry on and in our own strength but it is it's just carrying it all the time back to God and just saying look we trust you with this we're going to leave it with you um, rather than keep stressing and yes you have to plan and think when it's in that sort of situation but the the enormity of it you just leave with Jesus Jesus, you know, just give it to him. He's, he's big yeah. enough to take it. So <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. And we know that there are loads of people uh, that have been praying us, praying for us mm. through this season. Mm. Um, and, and those prayers have really been answered for us, which is fantastic. Yeah. Uh, a, great, great, um, a great witness to be able to point to those prayers and go, yeah, God came through. God yeah. gave the answer, mm. which is good. Wonderful. I mean, what a great story of God's faithfulness to you as a family. Thanks so much for sharing it with us. Thank you, guys. You're welcome. Take care.